Hey guys, guess what? It's the 4th of July! Hooray! Fireworks! That's how you took the lighter. The webcam's broken, so you can't see it. Look, I can turn on the webcam, but it looked very gross. And glitchy. Anyways, there's this right here, bullet shot. This has been out for like two days, three days. But it's where you gotta play other people's weapons. That they make. They can make campaigns, just battles, and it is awesome. Now you can search up a name of them, but you can't just search up something like you do on Google, like, hey, um, I want a very interesting battle, and if there's not a name, like a battle or a campaign that says very interesting battle, then I won't show up. This guy didn't even name this. Booga. Booga. This guy also did not name it. I made a, my, some of mine, but I don't think I can find them. Now, let me try and find them. Yeah, here's one of mine. It's called Sneaky Dave. You need to find Dave. Okay. I'll find another. I'm back. I found another one I made. It's called Green of Arrows. This guy also did use the same name. But, odds are different. See, he used, like, Artemis's and watches. But I used something else. I used the same things they got, but I used every single archer ranged character there is and then put in like a million cheerleaders that's what they're called subscribed now if you guys just barely got tabs or you don't know how to get play level on this and I don't blame you if you guys don't because it took me a while to figure out too you just have to subscribe to one Get out. Go to Sandbox if it's a battle, you, and you pick up any level. And you can just go to Load Battle, and there would be the- no, sorry, not this. What? No. Sorry, you go to Campaign. No, you go to Load Battle, and then you click Workshop. And see, watch, there's all these. This is my checkpoint right here, which is my- one of my most favorite YouTubers. Same with Kai and Lee Kian. Oh, there's Mount Fuji. There's the Reign of Arrows. Sneaky Dave. Anyway, so you just go here after you subscribe to one and get to it. I've been doing these ones. Uh, the Valid. It's a campaign. And there's also another way to get to the campaigns that people make. You can still go to Sandbox, but, if, but it's faster just to do that and boom. This is the only campaign I got. It's valid, only valid, only victory. That's not how you say it, valid. Please don't correct me, because I want that to be its name. Anyways, I've been playing some of them. I have not got, got past the. I cannot get past level 11. I mean, like, look at this. I only got $10. Money. Whatever the. Whatever the paper currency is here. Even if it is paper currency. Whatever the money currency here is. Okay, I don't know. Tabs bucks. Tab coins. I'll call it tab coins. I have only ten and... No, don't show up. No, go back down. And, as you guys know, the cheapest thing in tabs is a halfway, which is 50. So, I have to be this guy and somehow beat those more tab coins. Ah! No! Don't hit me! Maybe I can sneak around. I think that's an option. Ah! No! No, 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 you guys tell me if you know how to beat this, I don't know. Or you guys can just beat it yourselves. But anyways, let's just move on. Okay guys, I'm back. Uh, these two are things, these, the Ancient Tank and the Ancient Tank 2.0. Uh, I made these both. So what I did here is, actually I'll just load it up early, later. 
And why is there a 2.0? Well, I made this, and you can see there's more, like... I made this before the Calvary unit came out, and I, uh, when, when that guy came out, I was like, Oh, now I'm gonna have to make another one. So, I made the Ancient Tank 2.0, even more. So far, it has six downloads. And this one got saved. The tank. That's it. Or what does this one say? The ancient tank, but with more. You guys really should try it. It is difficult to beat. Plus, guys, there's another really cool thing they did. Let's say you just made an awesome army, but it has so much stuff and it takes a while to make, and you don't, and you want to use it again in the future, but you don't want to have to go through the hustle of making it all all over again. If you go down here and save your battle, you can put by name the player's budget in the description. You can even and you can load it up. Like if I wanted to load up the ancient tank, I just have to click it and it's there. But I just really like that. Because now I could so now I don't have to go through the hustle of making these one hundred and ten characters. But I'm gonna show you guys how strong my ancient tank is. Put a year old down. Watch this. Here they go. He died. Now let's put him up against something tough. I'm gonna use the Calvary Knights. And then, yeah, I'm gonna go over here. The king's gonna be like, hey, your ancient tank's too strong. Did I just click on Minecraft? I think I did. No. 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 Turn on. Stop. King's like, hey, you got to best be too powerful, so I'm gonna have to kill you. Brought us guys. And he's like ready to kill him. And he's powerful. I feel cringy for some reason. Stop showing up. You got the catapult. Watch. They will blast. They will push through anything. Anyways, so the cool thing about the ancient tank, I'll show you how I made it. Clear. Okay, so I did testing with the shields. It turns out that this shield is better against this shield. I fought them together in this shield. What? I test out the guys to make sure to see who's stronger and who gets to get put where. And this combination is the strongest for right now. So they're in the front. <laughs> then these guys right here. And then I do them again and then again. And then I make this little barrier around the catapults. And I do that same for here and there and for the archers. It took a long time to make. It also looks like a body, sort of. Yeah, that looks like a body. Anyways, I'm real proud of it. But the 2.0 is even better. There you go. Ancient Tank 2.0. <coughs> Don't know why it coughed into this meat. Okay, you can clearly tell that this is bigger and has more units. I did the studying again with the Calvary Knights. I don't give them a shield, a guy to protect them because they already got that. And I tested them out. These guys, this combination right here is still stronger than the Calvary Knights, and the Calvary Knights are stronger than these two. I mean, like, seriously, what is this guy even doing? And then I, after I did that, I repeated it again, again, again. And this time, instead of catapults back here, I put huachas and firework archers. I forgot their name. And then I made this, like, stretch here that made it longer that were supposed to protect the cat, the ballistas. I stretched it out so I could put more stuff here. And I also added snake archers. So, which is even more powerful. Who should we put them up against? Oh, let's try. Let's try Artemis and a nice jet.
here comes the ancient tank. And who watches? They won. This car, this, and this took. I am so confused. It's the reason that it said that this only needed 30 men. There is so much more than 30. Maybe you can do that. Yeah, 177. Oh my goodness, those arrows are still really. <laughs> That's hilarious. I can't get rid of them. But anyways, yeah. That's it. Right there. Anyway, so I'm going to show you guys the Reign of Arrows. One of my most difficult, even harder than the ancient tank. I don't know why, because it has every single archer with a whole lot of shields. Ranged weapons. You guy with a ranged weapon is in. 165 people. That's how much it takes. Nothing can withstand these guys. I'm going to make an army real quick. Okay, guys, I just made the king's army, and you get they're probably wondering why I use this stage. Why did I do this? Why did I choose the farmer one? Not place more interesting because of this bridge. It's small and narrow, and the guys are gonna have to walk across in order to get to them. So it's the easy pickings for these guys because they all just have to aim at the bridge. And there's nothing they can do about it because they can't go into the water. These guys, they fire fast. They throw the shields. You can, like, seriously, look at this. Fire focused on the bridge. No, he's still alive right now. It's probably that guy right there. He's still alive. Okay. Oh my goodness. And for some reason, whenever I use the Reign of Arrows, something like this happens. It's just a little glitch. But it does look cool. Anyways. But there is a way I know how to, I know how to beat the Reign of Arrows. You go to 47 Ice Giants. 47. And then the reason I'm choosing Ice Giants is because they can actually walk across the river. Yes, I, I know. They can. They can go across this. So the arrows have to be more spread out. They can walk across that. Of course they would trip. It might get stuck, but it don't have to go across the bridge. Now it's going to take a very long to finish this, and I'm already about to end this, so I'm not going to actually show you the battle, but you guys can try. Oh my goodness. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoy that, and, and happy 4th of July. See ya. Sorry, press the wrong button.